Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are happy to see you today. Today, my teacher, Tenzin Gawa, and I will make a very short video uh, with the topic about uh, why people should know about Buddhist philosophy. That's it, Tenzin Gawa. That's it, Yeah. Uh, we hope, like, um, when you listen to our video, you will find more like uh, the solution to help you create your life with full of inner trends, inner peace, and more happy. Uh, not only you, but make all the people around feel happy. Uh, although we have like the question with you know to answer it very long, long, but today, uh, Tenjin Gawa he should like answer very short. If you want to learn something deeper you can come to visit our website. Thank you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see the leg. Let's see the leg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, can we start the question now? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Yes. So our first question about the topic, why people should know about Buddhist philosophy. Question number one, that uh, really, what is Buddhist philosophy about? Oh, what is Buddhist philosophy about? Actually, we could say there's many, many kinds of teaching, but to say it very briefly, actually, the sole purpose of Buddhist philosophy is to get more happiness. So the Buddha's teachings are all for that. It's to get more happiness for ourselves and for others. How we can achieve that is through the practice of compassion and wisdom. All the Buddhist teaching, they are included into the practice of compassion and wisdom. Compassion is non-violence. Wisdom is having like intelligent mind to understand reality. So that's a, a very briefly said, the meaning of Buddhist philosophy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can uh, we start with number two? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, the question number two, like, uh, how can people study about Buddhist philosophy? Oh, that's yep. a good question. To study about Buddhist philosophy. Uh, there's many contexts, different contexts, but I think maybe most of you, you are lay people. So example, you have a work, you have a family. So I think the best way is first, you can begin by, for example, reading some books that will introduce you to the Buddhist philosophy. And so this way you can have like a brief, you know, like uh, overview of what is Buddhism about. And if you're really more interested, you want to go more deeper. So you should look maybe close to your place, close to your house. If there's some Buddhist teacher, Buddhist center, so you can go there and try to learn more about Buddhist philosophy like this. But anyway, when you try to learn about Buddhist philosophy, you need to have a critical mind, scientific mind, because Buddha is said, you should not believe my words only because of my name, but because you analyze them like you would do with gold by uh, rubbing, by cutting, by burning it. So Buddhist teaching is a really philosophy, very free to learn and free to check and analyze. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, lesson number three. Yes. Yeah. How does practicing Buddhist philosophy help people in their life? Yeah, I think uh, people they can get great benefit from this Buddhist philosophy because mostly in our modern world, people they look for happiness more externally. You know, they look for happiness only in material, in work, maybe in fame, or only in relationships. So this could be good, you know, all this can be good. It's supportive for our happiness. But the real cause of happiness is not outside of us. It's inside of us. As Buddha said, my own protector is myself and my own enemy is myself. So this way, if we learn about Buddhist philosophy, we will learn about the mind. We will learn about our emotions, how we can develop positive emotion and positive mind and how we can reduce negative emotion, negative mind. So this way, we will grow to happiness. So that's how Buddhist philosophy can help so much because in our world now, many people, they have lots of wealth, they have lots of knowledge externally, but they are not happy. So this means real happiness come from inside. Buddhist philosophy can help so much for that. 
Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay, uh, uh, question number four. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, um, question number four, like, could uh, you have a, like, could people practice Buddhist philosophy in their busy life? Like, because nowadays we are very busy. Yes. We don't have much time to seek meditation for long hours. We don't have much time to, you know, focus on, like, spiritual, like, things. We need to be something about material. So how could we wrap it in this life? Yes, this is a good question. And this is very possible. Because Buddhist practice is inside of us. Like example, the word meditation. Many people think meditation means you need to go in some place. You need to sit cross legs. You close your eyes. You like this. But actually meditation is more than that. It's transforming the mind to the positive. So if you're busy, if you work, if you have children, so the Buddhist teaching is to practice inside to develop more peace, more compassion, more love, more patience, more wisdom. So my advice is maybe you take a little bit, little bit time in your daily routine, example in the weekend or in the evening, you take some time for learning a little bit about meditation, practicing meditation a few minutes, for example, and trying to read, understand Buddhist philosophy, so you can apply that in your daily life. But we have to find time for that. I think we have time. Sometimes we say, I don't have time, but it's just maybe sometimes we are a little bit lazy, I think. So we should maybe go less, five minutes less on Facebook and five minutes more for meditation. We can find time this way, no problem. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, uh, the, uh, one more lesson. Yes. One more lesson. Okay. yes. Uh, which ages are good to learn about Buddhist philosophy? Oh, which age? Okay, yeah, so. Like, uh, like young people, young children, or maybe the, like people, oh, they have more time, or maybe adults. So which age? And how is that? Yeah, I would say like every age is okay. Every age is okay. Because there's some benefits in each age. For example, when we are getting older, 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 we have more life experience. So this way, we understand better about Buddhist teachings, for example, about impermanence, suffering, these things, we understand more. So it helps us to, give, uh, to be more happy. And also, if we learn this Buddhist philosophy when we are very young, like example, 10 years old, 15 years old, so we have good tools for having a happy life, you know, because sometimes nowadays, young people, they don't learn about so much uh, the spiritual values and how to be happy. So they think that happiness is more outside, externally. So this way, sometimes they're not really, really deeply happy. So anyway, any age is uh, very good. And never too early, also never too late. You know, you can always, uh, every age is possible. <laughs> Thank you so much. This Welcome. is uh, like a five question we asked about the topic today. Yes, thank you. Uh, we wish like after listening to the question, all of us have the real life solution and we can have a real way to practice. And we wish like all of us will be, you know, the more closer to the, you know, like inner peace, uh, inner happiness. And then we can, you know, spread that happiness, the peace to everyone especially in this time, so much sensitive, so much worry, so much challenging. Thank you so much for your sharing. Thank You're you welcome. Know. Maybe I just conclude with a short, uh, we call like a dedication for peace in the world. And we hope also that soon in our world, all the problems, conflicts, wars, and uh, epidemic, pandemia, sickness, all this can stop, you know, everybody be peaceful. I just do short, uh, prayer. Chanju Semchu Rimbuchi Maki Panam Ki Yuchi Ki Banyam Bay Mimbaya Kone Kondu Bewa Shu